Talk Nerdy to Me presents Chew Volume 2 Vidcast with your host, Pablo Gunner, the ambassador here. And we are at Casa de Gunner, and uh, this week we're going to review Chew, Chew. Volume, volume 2. two. Uh, let's just go jump right into this, you know. Um, real quick, though, our system is by skim pass. We have variations for those, and we'll go into that you know, based off of our decision. And I think that's I think that's all that needs to be... There will be spoilers, probably. Maybe. I don't um, know. Maybe a little. I think there'll be spoilers in this one. Minor spoilers. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, so what happens is it starts and uh, he's back with his old partner. But it seems like his old partner hates his guts because he's like, oh, it's your fault that my face is all messed up, and now I'm like, I have a cyborg face. Yeah. And you're like, okay, this makes sense. This and makes then it sense. does like a 360, and he's like, I'm just doing this to get on, on the good side of the boss, you Since know? Since I know he hates you, yeah. you told me that. Because mm. I guess he did hear a lot of what he told him when he was out. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he was the only one that was there for him when he was in the hospital, in the yeah. ICU. So, uh... You know, so the rest Even of... Even though, unfortunately, he told most of his story to some complete stranger. Yeah, that's true. Oh, sorry. Oh, About wrong the girl. person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but anyways, uh, what happens is after that, you know, they go do a case. And uh, the thing is, is his boss purposefully picks the worst cases. Yeah. Just so Chu has to taste them. And uh, let's just say this one was a pile of crap. Um, the part was like, no, 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 you're not going to taste, you're not going to eat crap. We're going to just do this old style. Yeah, we're going to do this like real detective. So it plays out and they do real detective work and it works out and you see their back and forth. Because you saw a little bit in the first issue, but you didn't get a lot of it. You got a little bit. Yeah. A nugget, you know, of it. And but, this one you get the full thing and you're like, oh, it was, it was the Quite possibly one of the funniest things I've ever read. Yeah, it was so funny. Like, they're both complete opposites, yet for some strange reason, get along enough to get the job done. Mm -hmm. I guess the best comparison would be if you ever watched that show Psych. John and his partner. They always seem like they hate each other, yet they're best friends and getting along and solve cases. Yeah. It ends with them finding this fruit that tastes like, or food that ends up turning out to be a fruit, that tastes like chicken when cooked. So, Chu, Tony Chu, goes on this secret, covert mission on his own to this island where it's from, because when he tasted it, he knew where it came from, because that's part of his powers, is he, yeah. you know can eat, taste stuff, or chew stuff. He right? had it before this as well. Mm. That was in the previous volume. Yeah. So, he goes in search of that. Um, and he's also kind of there for a different reason as well. His brother is getting himself into trouble. His brother and then his uh, love interest is what I want to say. Yeah. So he goes to this island, and uh, he's going to get to the bottom of this fruit that tastes like chicken when cooked. Yeah, and his brother's kind of, like, going along with it for the most part. Mm -hmm. Until later on, like, things really start going crazy. Until he breaks his jaw. That, that... Because he was down with it till the end, until... I think the whole thing, until it just crashed and burned. <laughs> Yeah, and then, but the nice thing was, with the love interesters finally, like, a way for them to actually communicate, talk without, like, any awkwardness, mm -hmm. he finally manned up. Yeah. And so that, that was relieving to see, and now there's a little flirting back and forth that can happen in the other books now. Right. So, for me... I didn't really like that the first part, the first the per first part of the book, which would be the first issue of the volume, 
uh, was hilarious and it had his him and his old partner teaming back up. And then he goes to do a mission on his own. For me, I didn't understand the motivation. Like you said, you mentioned his brother. You also We also mentioned his love interest. To me, I didn't... In Just, the writing, I didn't see the... I, I feel like the writing didn't do a good enough job of driving that motivation, saying he's here because of the love interest, he's here because of his brother, because he kind of he kind of hates his brother. Yeah, but... And he doesn't really know this woman. Yeah, but family is kind of a love-hate relationship. Yeah, it can be. Well, it seems like there, it's like, well, this is for your own good, so I'm going to break your jaw. Yeah, break your jaw and, 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 and I'll probably, you know what? He may enjoy it too while he's doing it. Probably. Yeah. So it's, I just it's all family. For me, he's off doing this mission on his own, and they mention that multiple times throughout the thing, where they're like, "Hey, you know, he's on his own. He has nothing to do with. He's not doing it on part of uh, what the FDA." Yeah, and the amusing part was when he used tried to use his FDA to. Do some authority down there, mm -hmm. and it fired back on him. Yeah, they're like, "Well, actually, we looked it up, and yeah, you're not on a case down here." Yeah, and then, but the guy's still willing to work with them, and you realize in the end, he was just using Chew. Mm -hmm. But that 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 part was pretty amusing with the crazy guy. Yeah, the I think it was the the sheriff or something sheriff, like that. Sheriff, yeah, something like that. So, but anyways, uh, like I said, for me, I just, I I didn't feel like you get why you gave me a taste of their old part of their partnership that was so great, so funny. Like I said, one of the funniest things I wanted. I think if I read this in issues, it would probably be the the one of the, probably the issue I enjoyed most, just because it was. It was funny, their chemistry and everything like that. And then you throw him off by himself for the rest of the book. And to me, that didn't make sense. And he's covering for him and stuff. And he's like, hey, you better hurry up and get over here. Get back, you know, and figure this thing out. And he just brings down this operation. I felt like for nothing. Like, why? Why, why mess with it? Okay, get your love interest and get your brother out of there. But why do you have to bring down the whole organization for what purpose? Like, I I didn't understand it. To me, it would make more sense to do this kind of story after we've had maybe a little too much of the partnership. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. once you're starting to get sick of it and you're going like, okay, I need I need to switch it up for me, please. And then throw him out by himself. And then, like I said, just have a stronger driving force behind his motivation for being there, especially when he's doing it on his own, to bring down, like, pretty much this whole operation you know that was going on and it was like why what essentially he ruined this operation that was the perfect substitute for chicken and it's like when they've outlawed chicken and you found the perfect substitute why are you gonna mess with that when you have no when you have no legal reason to be there doing what you're doing you know what i mean like besides like i said besides a brother and besides the love interest. well i think even if he didn't show up there that uh, leader of the country had too much was trying too much and it would have gone to crap either way i don't know so i don't know for me i just felt like it could have been done better uh as far as the writing goes the art was the art was pretty I mean, it, it's consistent. Yeah. It's consistently good. It's awesome. You know, I I, ju I really like the goofy, the goofy look of the goofy cartoony look of the characters. Yeah, it's, it works really well mm -hmm. with this type of story. And it's it's not too it's not too dark. It adds that it adds to it so that it doesn't feel too dark. You know what I mean? Yeah, because like if you had Jock doing this, it'd be way too dark. Yeah. I mean, it was interesting. It was definitely interesting. I just feel like, like I said, it could have been done better. Uh, you know, there was also certain things like in the first volume, he didn't want to bite anything except for when he lost his mind and tear to that, tore that guy's throat out. Um, but the other thing was like, he was just nonchalantly chomping on bodies when before he had like real major issues and mind you he had to pretty much nut up or shut up and that was that situation that's why he yeah. did that so 
But uh, uh, for me, because the writing was weaker, I can't give this one a strong buy. You know? Well, I can't because I just read because a few a week or two ago we read East of West, and after reading that, I can't put this book in the same category as something like that. Right, and it's not that. Like the art, it's it's not, the thing is they're different genres too. Though, yeah. So you it, they're hard to they're hard to compare. You know, I know people just go comics and comics, but it's kind of like to me, I feel like it's apples and oranges because East to West is so it's so different, different. But it's still one of those where it's like a book that left that a lasting impression versus one that was oh that's pretty good. Yeah. You, you can't really put them in the same category. Right, that's true. Because Strong Buy has to be something where you're going to, like, remember and be awed by it for a while instead of just, that was good at the moment. Right, right, yeah. You're like, yeah, that was, you know, that was enjoyable read, whereas you're like, wow. Right, you know, I mean. Like still, even to this day, I'm kind of like, wow, with East of West. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, that's that's where I stand. It's a buy for me. So, yeah, it's a buy for me as well. Uh, and that's it for us here at Talk Nerdy to Me. You know, make sure you uh, share this video and other videos, you know, and check out all our social media stuff, like facebook.com slash TNTM the show. You know, share that with your friends because I'm sure they'll enjoy and, this uh, content. We have our sponsors below on our webpage as well. Mm -hmm. So check those out. And then in the YouTube, we'll have links to our sponsors as well. And then TNTM, sh the show, is also the name of our Twitter, which I never keep up on. Rarely do. Um, but, you know, if you follow us, I'll follow you. Uh, that's that's how that goes, you know, yeah. type of thing. So, um you know, and then uh, what What else do we have? Our uh, Talk Nerdy to Me, the show at yahoo.com. That's our email. If you yeah. want to send us any emails, you know. Please no emails of shemales, though. We get enough of those. Ambassador. They're all to him. I don't know why. It's weird. What? Me? No. <laughs> um, so, and then uh, what else do we have? Oh, the website. Like you were yeah. saying, go to the website, www dot talk nerdy the show dot com you have to put in the dubs or it won't work it'll go to something else different so uh that's it for us uh keep those eyes hungry for comics